Zach Sang the Gang right now hanging out in the studio. The one, the only, Hillary Dove. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How was your good. day today? What was your day like? Oh, my gosh. Um, I dropped my child off at school this morning. Ooh. So I was like the, like, get up, get dressed, pack the lunch, <laughs> feed the kid, get to school. Um, I had a meeting midday. Ooh. I had a workout. Very nice. And uh, And I came to you. Now, what kind it's been of a good day? What, what kind of mom are you at school when you when you drop Luca off? Like, I, I'm assuming you're the cool mom, right? Uh, well, a lot of the moms are cool, to be honest. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know exactly what you mean. It's a slight transition right now because he just got into a new class, so he's okay. like staying a little bit longer. He has like two two new teachers. Got it. But he's done good, so I'm kind of just I try to just go off of him, like. You see a lot of parents still having to sit in the classroom because their parent, their kids are like having uh, full blown panic attacks that so their, their parents are leaving. Preschool oh. age, yeah, 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 yeah. And it depends. Like some days, Luca's like, I don't like school. I don't <laughs> like it. And I'm like, you do like it. Or I try to, I try to not say that. I'm like, no, like school is so fun. He's like, I don't like it. I'm like, okay, well, you have to go. <laughs> and. I'll see you at two. Like that's what it is. So you know, is he doing a full day at school? Not a full day. Like Close. he he does only three days a week, and okay. he goes from like eight thirty until one thirty one day, and then another day, like two days a week. I did after school with like cool. sports and science and killing it. Just I'm just full blown mom over here. Yeah, well, <laughs> my thing is like right now. I swear I have a real job too, no, but the, the, my thing is like. How do you do both? Because right now you're in the full mode and relaunching your entire music career. Yeah. By the way, incredible album, great single. You know, Breathe In, Breathe Out, the, the first single, Sparks. I mean, you're doing everything, and obviously you're still raising your son. Yes. Challenging at times? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I think any mom would tell you that it's challenging even if they didn't have a job. Of course. <laughs> I think I get a break, actually, because I do have a job. Yeah. So. Um, there's a there's a balance and it is hard. Like I miss a lot, but I know like I've been working since I was 11. Yeah. So that's a big part of who I am. And I think that if I didn't have that, I would just be lost, you know. So it feels good. I, I feel so lucky to be where I am now and actually have like put out my record that yeah. I was like, ah, can I do this? Can this happen? Like plenty of other People like women in the music industry have children and have like figured it out, but uh -huh. it is it is like a you have to learn how to like separate and compartmentalize of like course. your brain a little bit, you know. And I this is I mean this is such a special album, so, such a special launch with RCA because you mentioned you've been in working since you were eleven. Yeah, is that crazy for you to really think about that you've been working in this industry for that long? I mean that's insane. It honestly doesn't even feel like a like my past sometimes doesn't even feel like a part of my life anymore. Really? Like it, it was just such a crazy ride at such a young age. Yeah. And then moving into like a really important time, which was like me kind of becoming an adult at like 18, uh -huh. uh, still being, you know, I basically was on tour for like four years. So that was that was crazy. It was just all such a blur. But so many big like epic things happened to me. Uh -huh. And then I kind of was like. I'm shutting that all down because, like, I need a break. I don't know who I am. I don't know what I want. Like, it was just really important. And so getting back in it now, it's like a totally different game, and I'm a totally different person. So I think I'm trying to enjoy it more, but I'm nervous, too. It's yeah. like, uh, this is like there's muscle memory in there from the past, of but course. it's also new, you know? I mean, it, you look— And what's important is, yeah. is, is, is such a different—is such a shift from me now. What was yeah. important for you— the, work, work when you're doing work, this before work, 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 and now right. it's work and fa family and then work yeah yeah it's totally shifted. different dynamic yeah like uh, going back into it doing an album doing a single what goes through your mind before you officially make that decision because uh, let's be real i mean you have such an incredible legacy you've accomplished so much i mean is there nerves getting back into it oh my gosh yeah yeah for sure i think you know the record took about Two years to make uh -huh. and it was just like I found myself starting to write again and I think a lot of personal things initiated that yeah. you know just needing that like outlet therapeutic and I, a little bit it was it was for sure and just you know finding a piece of my my old self and 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 discovering what that was now you know it was like 
okay, but do I have time? Can I actually do this? Like, I can't dedicate myself to it like yeah. I used to. So it's scary, you know? Like, I don't want to fail, but I also don't have the pressure of, like, having to be on top anymore yeah. because I just want to do it to satisfy myself. And I obviously want good reviews, and I want yeah. people to like my, my stuff, but I think my perspective is just a little different, and I feel, like, proud to be where I, where I am still yeah. – still have people buying my record and, and you know, caring, I guess. I think uh, you're, what you're doing right now and what just came out of your mouth was so incredible because <laughs> you're doing the stress and the pressure that people who are younger in the industry, especially, you, you know, who are in your shoes or who are in your sho- shoes now, mm. uh, the pressure on them every day to succeed yeah. so much. And now you're doing it on your terms for the first time really ever, right? You're calling the shots with this a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I still answer to everyone. Everyone has a boss, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, but I guess, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's my choice. And it was back then, too. But yeah. I think being in it from such a young age, you're like, yeah, I want that. Yeah, I want, uh, like, I will spread myself so thin to, mm-hmm. get, you know what I mean? Like, it just, and I will, too, now. But, yeah. like, but I do have the a different, like, a bigger purpose in my life, you know? Yeah. And so it makes me a little bit, like, well, F it. I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> if I didn't, if it didn't yeah. turn out the way like that yeah. was expected or whatever. And obviously like the part of myself that's been uh, trained working for Disney as yeah. a child <laughs> like <laughs> wants to like conquer all that. Like, you know, if I don't, I don't like I yeah. have to. I just have a different thing. How often do you look back on those moments in your life? Right. When you were first starting Lizzie and you're, you know, I think I'm constantly reminded about it. You know, does that suck to be constantly reminded about it? No, no. I mean, I think for a while when I was around like uh, 16 to like 21, yeah, I was like, if someone calls me Lizzie one more time, <laughs> like I'm going to backhand them. <laughs> That's what it is, yeah, you know? Of course. Um, but now I'm, I think I'm just like at such peace with it. And I yeah. look back and I'm like, I worked really hard on that. And that was such a big part of who I was. Like that character was me. I wasn't acting like that. You know what I mean? Like uh, the writers would be like, what's happening with you and your friends? What are you wearing right now? Like I picked all my own clothes. I, so fun. It was so such a, we had so, so much in common, I would say that like, whatever. And, and that's what made the show so real, man. Well, I think it also, I'm grateful for the fan base that it gave me. Uh-huh. Like people have stuck with me for so long because that show touched them for whatever reason, you know? Lizzie taught me so much about life and school <laughs> and parents and navigating it all. Like, it was phenomenal. And like, Rome. Do, and Rome? And Rome. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't. You know what was really cool, actually, was um, for, like, my record release week was in mm-hmm. New York, and um, I did a, a signing at a mall. And yeah. everyone that was there was, like, from 20 to 30, Okay. Like of a maybe a little bit younger and a little old, like give or take mm-hmm. or whatever, but so many people, all everyone there was like, you don't understand. Like I love this record. This is your best record yet, but like y- you were my first concert, or like I went wow. to Rome with my girlfriends, hoping to like get on the back of a scooter with a boy. Like <laughs> you know, like so I get to great. hear awesome That's what everyone things. Wants. <laughs> yeah, so I, you know, it's all full circle now, and I'm yeah. like, oh, thanks. You know, thanks for still like sticking around. In- insane to think about the fact that those all those long hours that you put in on set, like all that hard work you put in, it really touched people. I mean, it changed some people's lives, you know? It, it it gave them, some people, a purpose. It taught people how to navigate life. Is it insane to think about that that sort of project, that sort of show, that work that you did can go on and, and, and live for this long and touch so many people? Um, did you ever think that it would? Oh, my gosh. No, I mean, no, I was too young to kind of, like, fathom yeah. that kind of thing, I think, and... I had totally quit acting. I had moved back to Texas, and I I had been repl- I had been on a show for ABC, and um, I had been replaced uh, after the pilot. Like the show got picked up, and then they replaced me, and they replaced me with like twins. Ooh. So like, uh, they could work the twins for okay. more hours. Makes like, sense, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. But it makes sense to you. But if you were like eleven and oh, you got fired, the worst in the world. <laughs> yeah, you're like, yeah. they hated me. I suck. Whatever. Yeah. Like it's so awful. Um, so I was like, uh, mom, I want to go home and be like a normal kid. And so I went back. My mom's like, okay, well, I have to stay with your sister because she's filming a movie. But if you want to go be with dad, like whatever. So I went back home and then Disney kept calling me because I had auditioned for a million things for them before. And they're like, uh-huh. we think she's perfect for this. And I was like, I'm not coming. Like, no, I don't want to. I'm done. And then they offered to send me a plane ticket. 
And then I was like, a free trip to go see my friends in LA? Hell yeah. <laughs> and I did. And then I went and I like bl- totally blew my audition. I didn't know any of my lines. And the casting director was like, you're not prepared for this. Like, come back when you're prepared. And I was like, <gasps> scary. Yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Okay. And then I came back prepared and I got it. So I was like, wow. I didn't, I think my hopes, like I didn't want to get my hopes up. And yeah, then of course. All of a sudden one day, like I would try to go to the mall with my friends once the show came out and I was like hiding in a bathroom stall because I was like mobbed by people. I can all, it's frightening, scary, a mix of emotions, <laughs> right? I mean, when you're that young experiencing it for the first time. I think the first time someone asked me for my auto, by the way. I'm just like a nice little girl from Texas. <laughs> the first time someone asked me for my autograph, I asked them for theirs too, and they were like, <laughs> "Why? That's awesome." What's wrong with this girl? She's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's a weirdo. To be honest, if you happened to ask me that, I'd probably have given you one. You know what I mean? <laughs> just because. I think the kid did, but they were kind of like looking at me, like, mm, "Are okay. you sure?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's talk about your new album, "Breathe In, Breathe Out." I, I, first of all, congratulations on the success. Already making Billboard 200, coming into the top five. Huge success for the album already. Sparks is a great single. Uh, the album, who's writing it? Are you writing it with people? Is this really, I mean, is this mostly you? Tell me about the creative process behind it. It's about half and half. Um, okay. I mean, I'm like, what's, what's, I need to see the list. But um, <laughs> I, I, like, Tove Lo wrote my single, which is awesome. Ooh, and I love I, her. Me too. She's, uh, by the way, she sat in that chair in the studio. She is such a badass chick. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> love her. Yeah, me too. Um, I got to, to work with her in Sweden, actually. And that was a cool experience because I started making my record and I was writing everything, co-writing with people, mm-hmm. but really like writing everything. And um, it was it was very therapeutic for me. Yeah. And then I was kind of like, I'm just like, it's not totally right yet, you yeah. know? And I decided to take a TV show, um, which scared the shit out of me because I had to move to New York and I had like a two-year-old just starting school. Um, but it was like a, one of those great things where you're like, I needed to just like flip everything upside down and of go course. do this. But also, by the way, another success going yeah. on season two yeah. on TV land. I mean, dude, <laughs> these major changes you're making are working out. Oh, well, I still have my fingers crossed over here like every day. <laughs> Pray for it to be a good one, um, but it is it is good, and I, I love being on the show. Anyway, taking that break from the record, I think, and then getting back to it after, like, Christmas yeah. really, like, breathed the life that it needed into it. So I took a trip to Sweden, and I worked with Tove on two songs, and um, and that was cool. And she is just she's tough. Like, she's she's a badass. She, and um, Yes. You know, I like I, lo- I love that. She's like unapologetic and that's rad. Give zero fucks. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, that's her entire vibe. That's how she comes off. That's who she is. Yeah. But, but like, she's really sweet and that's kind. That's it. Like, yeah. see, you know she does you're not give like fucks. Anno- you're not like, okay, you're just too cool for school over there. Exactly. Like, you're actually kind and you gave zero fucks. Yeah. And th- that's it. Th- like, she's like a human, but gives zero fucks. Not yeah. like an asshole. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I so, mean- so, so that happened. Um, and then a lot, of the, a lot of the songs I wrote and uh, I worked with like Matthew Coma on some uh, mm-hmm. of the tracks. He's so talented too. He's amazing. He's wow. really amazing. Yeah, I loved working with him. He's so funny, and uh, and just like a freak of talent. Yeah, just like uh, how do you? I don't understand he, it. He doesn't. He plays a guitar, right? Uh, it, he plays a little bit of everything. He, he's like he's one of those. But he had a huge single out that was such a smash. I, it's blanking well, on my wrote, mind. But he, I loved he, it. he he like co-wrote Clarity. That's right. Okay. Yeah, and a bunch. I mean, there's so many other songs. I think you would know. But yeah, he's he's great. So that was cool, and it kind of like added like a little EDM vibe to, to my record. Um, and then, who else? I did a song with Ed Sheeran, which was cool. You Insane. know, Insane. that's yeah. in, uh, what was it like working with Ed? Really, really great. I'm such a big fan of his, and yeah. um, it came about really unromantically. Like it was just I heard the demo. Like he had <laughs> he was like shopping. Like I don't know if it was a song he didn't use for his record or something, but uh-huh. he. Uh, my A and R girl, who's amazing uh, at at RCA, had heard the song and she played it for me. She's like, "Ed wrote this," and Ed Ed had sung the demo, and so she sent it to me. And I was like, "Don't play that for anyone else. That's my <laughs> song." It was probably it must have been beautiful. It's great. It's called Tattoo, and it it, it is a beautiful song. It's kind of sad, and um, she, I was like, "I want that." Like, and she called him up, and she's like, "He liked the idea," and he's like, "But I would like to be there when she records." So he was there. Um, like That's in the cool. vocal booth with me, which That's was crazy. Awesome. I was like, I'm Ed Sheeran, and I'm so <laughs> nervous. <laughs> like, okay, you, we mentioned Ed, Tove, and we mentioned uh, Matthew Coma. Mm-hmm. Okay, three major names in music today. 
you know, when you're working with these people, like, are you you've obviously heard their stuff on the radio and everything. I mean, are you fans of them? Are you fans of what the music industry is today, even without Hillary Duff in it? <laughs> you know, of course, I'm such a I, I'm I'm I love pop music. Yeah. Um, I love every kind of music, to be honest. Like if you saw my playlist, you'd be like, this girl is schizophrenic or something. <laughs> like, I just obviously make music takes you on a ride, you know, and it soothes the mood. And yeah. it, it, it does. It. Uh, you know, just because I le- like I wasn't making records doesn't mean I wasn't. No, anything, but you, so. you 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 were listening. I mean, you must have been listening to everybody. Tove, listening to Ed. I mean, the music that's being created today compared to what was being being created, mm-hmm. you know, during the, the first albums that you were releasing. Yeah. What do you think? I mean, a major change in pop music. Huge change. I, Everything is so much more rhythmic. You know? Yeah. And I think I still don't totally like fit into that category, but it was important for me to make my record and and really still sound like me. Yeah. You know, I didn't. As much as I would listen to the radio or, like, I love hip-hop music, you know, but obviously I'm not <laughs> going to make a hip-hop record. Like, I, you I should think... follow your dreams. Yeah. So, so you're telling me you're not going to rap? <laughs> I mean, Drake liked my photo on Instagram the other day. So... Wait, 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 hold on. That one. The entire vibe just changed. <laughs> what? Okay, so uh, d- dra- okay, so that like, escalated. This, like, the entire the, the, the interview just moved. So, you're like, I'm actually excited you're here now. <laughs> Wait, by the way, first of all, like I think like I'm being more subdued because like low key, we have cool people in here all the time. But like they're okay, but they're not Hillary Duff. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like this for everybody. Being honest with you, like this was a big deal for us because when we, we were talking about Lizzie, we we're talking about shaping people's lives and teaching people how to navigate and learning through television. Like that's how I learned. Like the reason I'm here and been behind the, the mic for eight years is because I grew up on Disney Channel. You know, I grew up on Lizzie and Raven and you know uh, uh, even Stevens. Like that was my thing. <laughs> It really was. <laughs> I think you and a lot of other children. Yeah. Well, that, <laughs> Tweens, if you will. Well, that's sure. it. Like, <laughs> the people here, we're in the same boat. So yeah. it's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But someone like Drake likes a photo of yours. What do you do? Do you comment back? Do you like a photo back? Do you direct message him? <laughs> Ask, like, him out. Ask him out. Ask him out. Can you imagine that? Um, <laughs> what if I just showed you like a whole combo? I was like, oh, here's what happened. We've been texting. <laughs> no, no. I'm like the shyest person in the whole wide world. So, of course, I just screen grabbed it and then like sent it to a bunch of my friends. So I was like, <laughs> don't worry, Champagne Poppy. And I was like, <laughs> my friend was like, what did Alicia sh- say? She was like, oh, my gosh, this is just really taking the squad to another level. Like, <laughs> you have upgraded our squad. <laughs> Our team. We I need do. To get, yeah, we need to get a Drake like for our squad. Yeah, <laughs> not even a squad without Drake. No, we're we're, we're barely a gang right yeah. now. What are we doing? <laughs> maybe that means he wants to work with you on a song. Oh, his next album. Maybe you can get on there. <laughs> you know what? That'd uh, be dope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I'm like the shyest person ever. I would never like. I don't know. I would. I'm the girl that screen grabs and like sends it to her friends. But, it, but if he asked you, would not, you say yes? Not, Fuck yeah! Be pumped. <laughs> of course, be pumped. Drake's amazing. I'm such a big fan of his. That would be awesome. That's <laughs> this guy can't breathe over here. He's see, like, I'm telling you, me. like I think it's a dream. Of his. Imagine if somebody said, you know, Drake and Hillary Duff are working on a song. Nobody would expect that, <laughs> but everyone would want it. Every ex- oh, exactly. Yeah. That's everyone so would it, yeah. want that. <laughs> <laughs> has there been like any other celebrities that just like your jaw has to drop and like you have to take a second to like rethink about it that have reached out to you or hit you up on social media or whatever? You know, weird brushes with celebs. Oh gosh, um, weird brushes with celebs. I'm trying to. Th- Lauren. You. I don't want to put everybody on blast right now. Like, I'm <laughs> telling all my secrets. I know you guys yeah. think I'm like. <laughs> I know, yeah. I know, I know. I think, I think she was pumped for kid. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't be? I love kid, but. Um, but <laughs> I um no I tr- I don't I think I I do know a lot of people and I yeah. know I run into a lot of people and always try to be myself I don't know I I'm, I'm not like I also, honestly yeah. I do think to get back on a more serious note is part of the reason that I um well I don't know how to mention this usually people ask me this but people are always like you're so normal like you. Like how how did, how have you been like so normal through all this, you uh-huh. know? And um, honestly, I think that um, 
a, a lot of like things come into play, family and but it's like who you surround yourself with. And yeah. like I don't run in a circle of celebrities, and that's not my mo ever. Like I, I'm just way more casual and simple and plain and. Usually when I see people, I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't want to have to like, I don't, and I'm not being rude. <laughs> yeah. I'm like scared or like, you know, and I mean, I can hold my own and hang sometimes, but it's just not, you know, but, uh, I'm a fan. I'm not like. At what point in your career did you make that decision that you weren't going to be that person that runs with celebrities? Because th I'm, I'm sure like that you have to make that decision actively. You need yeah. to actively be thinking about that. There was definitely a specific, I don't think I'm, I made my mind up like this is how I'm going to be. It was just a learning thing for me was yeah. when I was coming up, like it was the like few years of the like girls feuding, hating yeah. each other. And it was like the tabloid magazines were, were um, becoming really popular and like the obsession with like celebrity life and yeah. who is with who. And like, I know there's always been a, a spotlight on on famous people, but like more so, yeah. like right mm -hmm. around the time that I was like coming up. So. This was, I, I, you're right. It was a different era. Like it yeah. was, it was a different moment in time. I mean, did you socialize with the other Disney Channel kids? Like, did you become mm -hmm. friends? Like, what promo day, yeah. hanging out with Shia or, mm -hmm. and that cast? Yeah, yeah, we what, did. Was there? Did you all get along? What was that vibe like between all of you? Yeah, we all got along. Um, Shia was always. <laughs> Like, <laughs> shy was cool. You know, he's just, uh, you know, he's always been a, like a little weirdo. So. <laughs> um, he seems so normal, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I loved his show, too. And, and we, ha you know, we were, we were always like friendly with one yeah. another. And um, some uh, Raven, of course, which I just saw the other day. I, I was. Um, Performing on The View, so she's like a new host on The View. Killing it over there. Yeah, we're all grown up now, you know, so that was pretty much the people that... That's like a little bit of a high school reunion-ish vibe, you know? Yeah, yeah. When that happens. Now, okay, so Disney Channel, hanging out with all these people, we're talking about the active decision to make it known that you're not going to run in circles with celebrities, because I feel like... You're right. That really turned you into who you are today because as somebody who has friends in the industry and sees them making a decision to go and run with celebrities, that really, I mean, that 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 could mean, that's detrimental in the future. What do you think of celebrity life today and you think of people who, you know, who are currently doing what you are doing or, or currently doing what you're doing now? What do you think of people like Ariana or, you know, even like the Nickelodeon thing with Jeanette McCurdy and Victoria Justice? You know, what's that they had a feud over their show victorious oh okay you know the show coming i know yeah. the show but yeah. i don't know about the feud or anything um i'm so late to the game yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm like currently on pinterest trying to find an activity to go like do with a bunch of pre-k kids <laughs> I'm like, can they paper mache yet Pant bulbs? i don't know what i can do um i i think that i'm you know, I think it's such a different time than when I was around. You yeah. know, so um, I think most part, I look at them, I'm like, they're they're do they're handling theirs, like yeah. they are doing it. And um, I really think I look at like maybe Taylor Swift more or something, yeah. and to see how um, like friendly she is with people and so willing to like want to give everyone a push. Like yeah. that's the kind of behavior that we should see more of. It's you know? special, she's isn't great. it? Yeah, she's like. She knows that she's on top, but she's like wrapping her arms around everyone and like giving them a big push. And yeah. like, that's cool. Um, and, you know, it's amazing because when I was coming up, trying to be a singer, no one would accept me as a singer. It was just because I had so many fans yeah. that I had success touring and sold so many records. Like, no one would play me on the radio. They were like, who is this kid on Disney? who's an actress thinks she can be a singer now, you know, like yeah. it was hard for people to take me seriously. And now if you don't do both, like you can't make it. Yeah. You're not going to be on the radio, you know? So now there's just been a huge shift where that's acceptable now to be a, a singer and an actress and come from Disney. Like that was unheard of for anyone to take me seriously. Cause I came from Disney, you know? And now it's, it's yeah, different. Now everyone that's on Disney also has to be a singer. Well, they're also massive superstars. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was, it was like to, I was like, Clawing to you know be important. You did the dirty work for all of them. That's what. I, that was like, yeah. If it wasn't for you, there wouldn't be a Miley, a exactly. Demi. Do you ever look at it like that? Like you kind of started what they what they're doing now. I do, I do, but I don't. I don't sit around and like take credit for it because every decision counts, you know. And they're the ones guiding their careers. But I do think that I was a part of the pathway for sure.
Is that crazy to think about that you, Hillary Duff, a, a little girl from Texas, laid, first of all, not only changed the pop game, but reassessed the way we look at a superstar? That's crazy because you hit the nail on the head. If you're not doing both, then you're not getting on the radio. And that wasn't made clear until you came on the scene. I don't know if you're giving me too much credit now, um, but I feel like I was a part. I was a part of it, you know. And but I know I don't. It doesn't. I don't sit around like <laughs> twirling your hair and dreaming about no, it. <laughs> no, not at all. I feel. I just feel lucky to have had the career that I have, and and you know, I'm and be here, I guess, you know, but I do know that there was pivotal moments and, yeah. and things that made a difference. And, um, so do you, <laughs> do you like acting or singing better? Cause you're both doing both again. I am. I am. Um, you know what? I love being back on TV. I missed it. I missed, I think being in people's living rooms every week, you know, yeah. I missed being, uh, filming a show where you, are really like sinking your your teeth in and and you're committed for a season of storylines you know and and it's you never know where with our show it's so crazy i first of all i feel proud to be on a show that i'm really the writing is great and i feel like speaks to a a huge age range of women Mm -hmm. um and i'm playing a character that i get to have a lot of fun with and that i relate to a lot you know she's a bit of a wild child but she cares so much and is really driven in like her her work yeah um and i think that's like what your 20s is about you know like you party slightly too hard but you're still like super ambitious and like wanting to just get to where you want to go yeah um literally to a t (laughs) right you're like okay i'm gonna deal with this hangover because i really want to be at this party right now but (laughs) tomorrow i'm gonna kill it you know like that and that's a really fun um more carefree life than i get to have you know, or yeah. ever maybe have had. So that's a fun thing to play. Um, but it's hard to choose. I think that my brain gets foggy because I obviously love being on stage and performing live, but I'm like, touring like I used to tour is not really realistic with having a child. Yeah. So I, you know, if I had to choose long term, I would maybe choose acting. Yeah. And I really love that show. It's really great. And I've heard like so much positive feedback about like what you said about like, I've heard so much stuff about how it's like a really great show for like, you know, female friendship and Yeah. It's it's true. It has really good writing. Thank you. Well, Darren Starr, who's the creator of Sex and the City, is our creator and our writer and director yeah. and he's so amazing. Um so the the fashion is really fun. That's a good part. We film in Brooklyn, so I live in Brooklyn for the fall, That's you know, cool. and New York is the best in the fall. Oh, gorgeous, right? Yeah. Yeah, really nice. So um I enjoy it and and I work with other really talented people and and the the other thing that the other castmates and I have like talked about that we love about the show is like all the conflict doesn't just happen around men. Yeah. Like, you know, it's not just one of those shows is totally driven around getting the guy yeah. or like making the guy happy or what, you know, it's, it's really like the women's relationships are really important too. I think that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Jill's done. <laughs> she like throws the mic down. Then, this is over. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have a game. Uh, let's, uh, Dan, do you have any more questions? I just want to know if your son is. He's like, when's the Drake? When's the Drake? Uh, <laughs> first of all, yeah. happening. I want the first demo of that when it's done. Stick <laughs> an email to me. But does your son is he old enough to understand like what you do or what you've done in the past? Have you showed him your old stuff yet or any of your new stuff? I haven't showed him any of my old stuff. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't. Do you think he's too young to appreciate it right now? Um, yes, because yeah. every time there's anything on TV that's not a cartoon. If it, even if it's like a show or the news or something, he's like, oh, commercials. I'm like, <laughs> no. And just because it's not a, com- like, not the whole world of television is cartoons <laughs> except for, com- like, he literally thinks everything's a commercial That's if adorable. it's not a cartoon. I'm like, you got it twisted, buddy. <laughs> um, he likes my music and he is sweet. Like, actually, uh, a Taylor Swift song came on the radio the other day and he's like, That's your song, mom? That's your song? I was like, I wish, buddy. It's not. And he's like, oh, maybe just a different one. Like, yeah. He, he's very funny, though. Like, he, he does like my stuff, and he knows some of my songs. And he, um, when I was away, um, like, during press week of, of like, my, my album coming out, Mike, uh, his dad was at, like, a play place with him, and my song came on, and uh-huh. Mike started filming him, and he's like, he had, like, French fries in his mouth. He was like, that's mom's song! That's mom's song! Aww. And it was so, that's like, awesome. I missed him so much. I was Aww. like, oh, dying. Or he'd be like, you know, he'd put on, like, one of the shows I was performing on, and he'd be like, mom's on TV. And he'd be like, 
Mom, hi, uh, hi. Uh, that's mom. That's mom. Like, but he wanted to say hi to me, but yeah. I wasn't really there. And, <laughs> that's that's so adorable. Sweet. But he doesn't like get what I do. He doesn't know. Well, are you prepared for when he gets older and all of his friends are gonna be like, "Ooh, we're going to Luca's house. Luca's mom's there." <laughs> that's bound to happen. You're gonna be the hot mom. <laughs> um, I don't know about that. To be honest, when I go to the kids' birthday parties, um, I'm like. They all pounce on me, like, but not not in like that way. They think I'm like a the, clown or something. They're gonna be te- they're, they're, they're gonna be teenagers in no time. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't thought about that yet, but maybe we can uh, further discuss it later. You can prepare me or yeah, something. I don't know. Send your yeah. reports to Dan. He needs to know. I'm sure Luca's gonna be like massively embarrassed yeah. by me. Oh, absolutely. So sad. Dan will brief you on all of the creepy teenage kids. <laughs> like, not a problem. Like, <laughs> hey, a lot of experience. <laughs> <laughs> he has you covered. Oh no. Gross. Okay. <laughs> okay, we want to play a game with you. It's called Hillary or Hillary. You know, when we uh, first, you know, reached out to get you on the show and we were doing some research and we are just, like, Googling and stuff, Jill and everybody realized that, like, you and Hillary Clinton, even though, obviously, two completely different fields. Wait, do you know how to spell my name? H-I-L-A-R-Y. Oh, you got it, you got it. Hillary Clinton <laughs> is tough. two L's. Mm-hmm. That's right. And... You know, we found that we, you guys really do have some, like, weird similarities, but do not we? similarities in, obviously, what you do in your field. Yeah. But, like, more than similarities, like, you know, kind of, like, when you started, now that you guys are both doing your thing and you're coming back in a big way. I, you'll see. It's pretty interesting. Okay. So, we're going to play a game coming up in a few minutes. I think it's going to be fun. Hillary or Hillary. Um, but Hillary Duff, dude, breathe in, breathe out. The brand new album, you got to pick it up. And TV Land, hit show, season two is coming of Younger. The, the thanks that I, I, I give to you for stopping by and hanging with us, greatly appreciated. <laughs> it's been so fun. I love when it's fun like this, honestly. Makes thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. Do I call you Secretary of State, Miss Clinton? Uh, yeah, you? out of respect. <laughs> uh, Grove is a little drastic. We just like it's each like other. We're just like best friends. We just love each other We're a lot. We're just in love.